right? Usually use this one in either GI1 at the start or uh, FE203 where we're talking about visual, audio and kinesthetic ways of teaching or learning. So three ways that we learn, audio, visual and kinesthetic, audio through your logos, visual through your pies, and kinesthetic is your touchy feel thing. So we're going to do this, we're going to show you this, demonstrate this with some magic string. It's magic string, it's all the way from England, you can't bite it, you can't chew it, you can't burn it, you can't cut it. What I need you guys to do is get into pairs. Don't go with somebody you don't like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and has everybody got a pair? Poke your pair in the arm. So you know who it is. Okay, each pair needs two pieces of string, one each. I can never get it. Magic string! Magic string. Oh, look at that. Perfect number. Alright, right. talent is your place for you to be my demonstrators. What do you need to do? The first person in the group, choose one person in the group, and they have to hold their hands out like this, and the other person has to set them up with a set of handcuffs. So you tie them up like this. So you stand it with you, not? Yeah. Don't tie it too tight so that your fingers go blue. Or not quite as blue as Tom's. Less oh, nice. <laughs> so you all need to look, one person in the group needs to look like talent. All the hands up for his talent, like that, with a set of handcuffs on them. Oh. The other person? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's very patient, Grant, isn't he? <laughs> Why well, is now that I've got one coach because Andrew's left? <laughs> oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. A very lenient pair of handcuffs. Hey guys, you're the expert in handcuffs. All right, once one person is set up like that, the next person also has to wear a set of handcuffs. Remember, they can't bite them, can't chew them, can't burn them. But you need to loop it through your partner's arms like this, and then set yourselves up. Okay. Again, don't tie it too tight, or else your fingers will drop off. <laughs> And when you're done, yeah, one side. if you look at Talon and Joe, oh, that tight. Apologies, yeah. ma'am. Yeah, what? Well, mm -hmm. Too nice, too tight. If you look at Talon and Joe. You say you should be looking. Mm. You're very tall, very slim. Beautiful. <laughs> just wait for everybody just to. Uh, okay. Yeah. Is everybody ready? All right. <laughs> Why don't you guys do stand ups? It makes life easier. There is a very, very simple way of getting out of this. Uh, I've got a ten-year-old nephew, he got out in about one minute and thirty seconds. Timmy, all right on there. <laughs> Ow! All right, remember, you can't, just, you can't pull it, you can't rip it, you can't... Burn it. Burn it. Sure. Off you go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Now we just move about. Yeah, and here, let's go and here, yeah, let's jump over. Oh, there we go. I'll get on a chip. <laughs> and you can, if they're really struggling, you can say, okay, uh, you'll find it easy if one person gets higher than the other person, like the guys over there are doing. Or if you see people do something stupid, yeah. like what the boys over here are doing. Oh, look at, okay. look at Timmy Shaw, they're nearly there. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're going to have to do that. Another helpful tip for you is if you stand on one leg, that really helps. Oh, shush. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you can't get out of it. You give them two or three minutes of doing this, having a play. Alright. I'm gonna, if you, I need everybody back to where they started from. So, whether like that with each other, like that, like If you're all twisted, you'll do a little pirouette for me that way. I think how you got into that position. Just get backwards now. Yeah, that's it. Everybody? Alright. So, three ways we communicate audio, visual, and kinesthetic. I'm gonna give you the audio way of getting out of this. So, I'm just gonna talk at you. All you need to do is listen. Don't move, because if you move, you go into the kinesthetic way of learning. So just listen, I'll say go and then get out of it. Okay, you need to start by facing each other. Don't move over there. <laughs> if you move, you go into the kinesthetic way of learning. Just stay still. Okay, you need one person facing each other. The person on the right needs to be, have their string in the horizontal position. The person on the left needs their string in the vertical position. The person with the horizontal piece of string needs to make sure their piece of string is touching the person with the horizontal piece of string. Once you've done that, the person with the horizontal piece of string needs to move their string up towards the left hand of the person with the vertical piece of string. That person with 
The vertical piece of string needs to locate the loop on the left hand of the person with the horizontal piece of string. What? The person with the horizontal piece of string also needs to make a loop in their piece of string. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've done that loop, you need to take both loops, thread one through the other. Once one's gone over the other, the person with the vertical loop, though, must make sure that their loop's not crossed. Once you've done that, the person with the horizontal Tim. piece of string can pull their right, arms straight, okay. take one yeah. step step back, and you're out. <laughs> Off you go. All right. Okay. Horizontal. Okay. So horizontal person needs to go to the top. Okay. So nobody can do that. Oh. No. You can do that. Nobody can do that. So if you're teaching, <laughs> if you're teaching an exercise like a bench press or a push up or a squat, and you just talk at your client, they won't be able to get it. Same with what we do up here. When we're teaching you, you'll see some tutors up here to speak at the clients, speak at the people, and they don't understand what's going on. So what we'll try and do is teach you not just talk at you, but we'll show you as well. So I'm going to speak through it and show you at the same time using these two. Again, just watch what's happening, and I'll talk you through, and then you can have a go. So again, don't move, because if you move, you go through which phase of learning? Okay, so you want to face each other. One person around horizontal, one person around vertical. Make, you've got to make sure the vertical piece of string is touching the horizontal piece of string. Don't move or else you go into the kinesthetic way of learning. Need to, once you've done that, you need to locate a loop on the left hand of the person with the vertical piece of string. There, it's around his wrist. The person with the horizontal piece of string needs to also make a loop, but not let their string cross. So you make a loop like that, but don't let the string cross. Don't twist it so it's crossed that way. Everybody see that? So you want it there? With one loop, you need to thread it through the other loop. So thread the loop through the loop there, making sure that it's not crossed. Put it over the hands, pull straight, step away. Ah! Oh, right. Magic string! Have a go! Magic string! Oh, Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, we do it. If you've done it, you can help these people who can't do it. Tim? Oh, yeah. We're just slow. We, we're working. Yeah! Jackie, I'm showing you the I can get left 100 kilos, that's all that matters. It's not right. Oh, we'll so if you're teaching an exercise, we need to tell them about it. We need to show them how to do it and then we need to let them have a go. And still certain people won't get it. <laughs> 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 yeah.